Hi everyone, it's Luton here, and I'm back for you today with a video talking about an experience I had in the last week. Now the other day, you might remember it was a week ago, I did a video talking about Iron Ribbon, and that was talking about respect to other gamers, and how to deal with abusive people in gaming. Now a lot of people at the time said, well what's the point about just saying you want to be involved with something like this, surely the, you know, it won't achieve anything. Well, I said at the time that I would try and look at experiences when I have to deal with abusive people, or, you know, what you can proactively do and the kind of responses you might get and you might be surprised i think sometimes sometimes you're always going to get okay negative responses back people are just going to give you hate or abuse and they won't want to hear what you have to say but you would often be surprised at how people react if you send them the right kind of message so i thought i'd bring this up as a little experience just to show you the kind of thing that can happen so I put my video for my review of Aftermath onto Pixel Enemy, and amongst some of the replies, this was one of the replies that I got. It says, Luton is a worthless, miserable, boring ape. He is emotionless and a snob. I don't know if I've mentioned yet, but he's also worthless and has no value, and any of his videos I've seen is just the same monotonous tone, this 10 second pause, this is Luton, and today I sound like I'm going to kill myself again. I just replied to him, thanks for your support, see you next time. Now. Um, I've blanked this guy's name out and I said this to him at the time because there's no point dragging this guy through the mud um, You know he said what he said and I've spoken to him since and you'll see that in the next uh, couple of clips as well but um, Really what I wanted to point out was that you know YouTube commentators I try to anyway I do actually try to read everything that I get posted and I want to try and turn around this sort of attitude that people have that might seem like an impossible task to be, you know, it might seem like you're looking into a tidal wave of abusive hate that goes around on YouTube, but I think step by step you can try and talk to some people and even if you start to change people's minds one by one, it can really, you know, sort of, I feel like I've done something at least. So anyway, I replied to this guy back, I sent him a message uh, through YouTube and I said, hi there, you seem to have a big problem with the way I create videos and commentaries and I said, I have to say, you seem to be in a large minority as a large amount of people enjoy my videos and content. I think that's true, you know, I have a, a lot of people who really enjoy my stuff. And I said, why is it that you felt you needed to comment onto the video? And I've quoted his quote here. And I said, I'm just trying to understand why it is you felt the need to be so viciously aggressive when I have never had any altercation with you before or given you any reason to judge me and be so unnecessarily negative as you did today on the video. I said, I look forward to your reply. Now, I had no idea whether he was actually going to reply or not. I thought maybe he'd just ignore me or he'd just send me a, a message back saying, F you, what the hell, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, who, who knows, who knows? I didn't know exactly what I would expect at all. But the thing that I always find is that when people make these kind of comments, I think the the main sort of issue behind it is that I don't think they really often think about what it is they're saying. They often people just sort of say things without really thinking. And this is what he came back to me with. He said, Hello Luton, I'll be honest, I don't have any sort of grudge or anything. I tend to write things like that, especially the worthless bit, for no reason at all. It's kind of interesting. He says, I possibly exaggerated the monotone bit, but that was my only real problem with your videos. Again, like all my comments I make on YouTube, it was overly dramatic and harsh. My comments are always exaggerated, I don't know why, and I don't mean for them to sound aggressive in any way. But that actually makes me laugh. My friends call me aggressive on Battlefield 3 when I'm talking, and also when they see these sort of comments on YouTube. I'll remove my comment, and again, nothing against you. I just post these because people I know laugh so much at them. And this is the thing you see is, this is, I swear, the kind of stuff that happens is people post this crap and they don't really sort of think about what it is they're saying or how it could make other people feel. They're just making crap comments. They're just making random statements. And I think if you can just try and highlight that and go, look, think about what you're doing. It can actually, and you know, and then other people can say, oh, yeah, he turned me around. He made me think about what I was saying. Anyway, so I sent him another message back. I said, thanks, I appreciate the explanation. I might use this conversation in a video to give an example of how it's good to contact people when they make these sort of comments on videos, but I'll blank your name out, blah, blah, blah. I said, I don't mind criticism, but there's no need for it to be so insulting to someone at the same time, because there isn't. I said, I hope you might think about your posting in the future and how you might feel if someone was speaking to you the same way. And when I've contacted people before, this is the kind of thing that I've said and sort of spoken to people about. And most of the time, you would be really surprised that someone who can actually be really abusive, like I've had many times in the past where I've had someone speaking to me actually in-game or in a video like this where they make a comment. And if you send them a message, I've had this, I say in-game as well, you send people a PSM message or when I play World of Warcraft, you send them a private message, talk to them. More often than not, they'll come back and be like, oh, 
uh, yeah, sorry, didn't think that you would actually bother to get back to me. And, and then they're, they're actually often quite apologetic and sometimes a bit embarrassed, which is you really wouldn't expect uh, from what people, the kind of impression people give you most of the time. Anyway, he got back with this, which was even more unexpected. He said, I doubt a lot of people would reply. I replied because I didn't think you, the video maker, would even see it, but you did. And I didn't mean offence like I explained. I probably seem like your average internet troll, but like I say, it was more of a comment to make my friends laugh at the harshness of it. I appreciate your reply as well. Not a lot of YouTubers would bother replying to negative comments. I myself reply to them in a similar way to my comment on your video. But I definitely understand your view and I would try to cut down on the worthless video, worthlessness comments. They said, uh, if you knew me, you would know I say this shit all the time, but sorry about your video, it was, it was not worthless. So again, I find that kind of interesting that he's going on about how if I knew him, when he's actually, you know, he was making a bit of a judgment on me without knowing me. And I've had this as well this week. I've had a few people making these common comments about me personally, but you know, they have no way of knowing me. So it's a ridiculous comment to make. Um, but it's interesting that he comes across this. He's obviously thinking a little bit more about it now. And we go on to like, the last uh, message that I sent. And I said, well, it's something that I see all the time. The fact people ignore it means it never goes away. Think about what you're saying to people. There's a lot more you could be saying than just trying to get a laugh at being overly harsh and negative. Why not try and make a positive, intelligent comment so that people, instead of just laughing at how offensive you can be, will applaud you for making a well-made, well-thought-out comment that people can read and go, yeah, this guy, he knows what he's talking about. And I said to him, think on that. Now, again, you know, maybe he won't take any notice of what I've said whatsoever and next week he'll be making abusive spamming comments. But I like to think that even if that's the case, at least I've tried, um, you know, you can't reply to every single comment that gets made on every single video. But I think if everyone took the attitude of at least trying to help change people's sort of mindset and trying to make them see that, you know, the energy they, they put into being negative, they could put into being positive and actually make some interesting comments that will actually get people discussing and talking. And after all, isn't that the main reason why people actually come to use forums and sites and things online to get involved, to make comments, to make thought, to have discussions? Um, I can't, you know, I mean, obviously people go there to be abusive and trolling, but people go there to have fun. Some people don't want to get involved at all. But I think a lot of people come because they want to have some kind of um, stimulus between other people you know it's a forum it's an it's a way of involving yourself with other people to discuss change ideas to bounce things back and forth like anything that you put time and you know thought into so that was my little piece for today um, another single slideshow I'm afraid but um, I hope the sentiment is there and I hope you can sort of take something away from this I'm interested as always in your thoughts and feedback on this one guys and uh, if you've enjoyed the video today please give it a rate share and uh, see if there's anybody you know who want to subscribe so thanks for watching this one guys and uh, see you for next time for some more thinking and thoughts if you're interested in Iron Ribbon the, uh, the link is below I'll see you next time